This is a craft along video for the DIY beanbag chair featured in the 2015 June July issue of Kiki Magazine. This is a really fun issue because we show you how to give your bedroom a complete makeover with a lot of really great and simple projects. For the images and written directions of this project, you can grab your copy of Kiki at Barnes & Noble's, Michael's, or KikiMag.com. You will want to prepare your pattern pieces before you follow along this video. These pieces here are 36 inches square, and this beanbag is very huge. So if you want a smaller beanbag chair, you could make it 24 inches square or any other measurement that you want if you want it smaller. As you can see, I started with a 36 square inch paper pattern that I used to cut out my other pieces as a guide. It was super helpful. You may want to make a paper pattern first. After your six squares are cut out and ready to go, you want to pick out four squares and separate them into two pairs. In each pair, I laid the two pieces on top of each other front to front. Then I pinned one side of each pair and sewed a half inch straight line seam over it. So instead of four squares, I turned my two pairs into two long rectangles. You may want to take your time because these pieces are so big. Then you open those two pairs. Now lay the two rectangles on top of each other, right sides together just like before. Pin the remaining two short sides together and sew in the same manner as before. When you finish sewing these two sides, you will have a large tube of four squares sewn together. Pause and trim all of your seams in half and press them open. This is good practice for sewing in general. My mom always used to tell me, sew, clip, press, like a motto. Now you should have two squares left that aren't sewn. With one of those squares, match one of the square edges with the top of one of the squares in your tube. Make sure it's right sides together. Pin them together and sew a half inch seam over it. If possible, leave about a half an inch at the beginning and end so that you can pin the other sides and sew them. After you pin and sew that one side, continue to pin and sew each side of that square to the corresponding top of a square in that tube. When you're finished with that, you should end up with a tube that is completely closed at the top. You are going to repeat this process for the other side of the tube with the last square that you have left that hasn't been sewn. The only difference is, is that you will need to leave a seven inch gap open in the middle of one of the square sides. It would be a good idea at this point to trim and press any new seams that you have before you flip it right side out. Then, flip your beanbag right side out and start stuffing. You can try polyfill or beanbag beans or any other material that you want to stuff it with. We did packing peanuts because they are really light and they come in large quantities and this is a big beanbag. <laughs> To close the 7 inch gap, you need to fold the raw edges in and pin the folded areas together so that it's even with the rest of the seam. Now you'll have to hand sew those folded areas together with a slip stitch. Start with a knotted thread through a hand sewing needle and then you'll go through the top folded area about a quarter of an inch, almost like you're going through a tunnel with your needle. And then you'll go down to the bottom fold just under where your needle came out and you just do a tiny little, um, gosh, like a sixteenth of an inch of push your needle through that bottom fold. And then you'll do, you'll just repeat that between the top and the bottom all the way through. You want to keep the stitch as invisible as possible. Tie a knot when you get to the other end and it's completely closed. If you want to, you could also try to hand stitch on some pieces of Velcro to the opening instead of sewing it closed, and that way you can open it again if you want to. Thanks for watching this video, and good luck on your beanbag chair. If you liked this video, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe below. And make sure that you check out our other social media links that is in the description box below so you don't miss out on any of Kiki's awesome content.